The way a Street Fighter story mode usually goes is that you fight, like, ten people in a row, then marry some lady the game didn't bother to mention up until this point. New for Street Fighter VI, however, is World Tour Mode, a much more expansive and involved single-player story mode in which you create a brand new fighter, then travel all over the world, becoming stronger and making a name for yourself as a Street Fighter to watch. We've played a whole bunch of World Tour Mode, and let me tell you, friends, it's utterly wild. How wild? See for yourself with these seven most bonkers things you can do in Street Fighter VI's World Tour Mode when the game comes out on 2nd of June 2023. If you've played the Street Fighter VI demo that's currently doing the rounds on the PlayStation Store, you might have seen that World Tour Mode contains a character creator that lets you make your own avatar to use in the game. What you might not have seen is that this character creator doesn't give one single F and will let you create all kinds of hideous monstrosities without batting an eyelid. Such considerations as normal human proportions and regular head sizes and even non-glowing skin go out of the window and you're free to create whatever kind of total weirdo you want. Here's what we ended up with. Yeah, gotta say, you're photogenic. Perfection achieved, I think you'll agree. The part of Street Fighter VI's World Tour mode we played was set in Metro City, famous for being the setting for Capcom's Final Fight series of beat-em-ups and for having an ex-mayor with a very hands-on approach to street crime. <laughs> Clearly, people savagely beating each other in the streets is ingrained into the culture here in Metro City, because in World Tour mode, you can walk up to and start fights with virtually every single person you see. Old lady? Not a problem. Street performers? Hell yeah! Guy who runs the food truck you need to buy food from? You'd better believe it. Don't worry, it's like saying hello in Metro City. He'll still sell you a slice. You don't even have to start these fights in an honourable way if you don't want to. Though you can't do regular punches and kicks outside of combat, from your various teachers you can learn what the game calls master actions, such as Chun-Li's spinning bird kick or Luke's rising uppercut. These can be done in the open world, and unsurprisingly, given the constant street violence, they can be done to unsuspecting citizens, making for a quick way of kicking off a brawl instead of politely asking to fight. This also gives you a tiny advantage in the fight as it knocks a little chunk of health off your opponent, as they weren't expecting you to sprint across the square and spinning bird kick them in the back, the idiots. Welcome to Metro City, person just trying to get to work. They'll think twice next time. <laughs> also important in World Tour are your various teachers and the relationships you have with them. Again, you can call me Luke. We're just coach. You start off as a student of Luke, but quickly fall in with Chun-Li as well. And good news for those who like to mix things up, you can switch between styles, level up your skill trees, and even pick and choose moves from each of your masters to create your own way of fighting. You also have a bond level with your various mentors that you can level up to unlock new skills and interactions with them. This is achieved by, for example, giving them gifts. Chun-Li would really like this old magazine about fighting that I found on the ground, I bet. Oh? Thank you! See, I told you she'd love it. Master actions aren't just for punching unsuspecting old women in the back. You can also use them in the open world to interact with the environment, for example, by spinning bird kicking some guy's car. Spinning bird kick! It's not all property damage, though. The spinning bird kick in particular is super useful for navigating the rooftops of Metro City's Chinatown thanks to its gravity-defying properties. You'll want to try it out, too, as there's plenty of stuff squirreled away up here for you to get your grubby mitts on. Including Zenny, the Metro City currency that you can spend on sweet items of clothing like these fantastic boots. Chumley would be proud, I think. The people you're beating up in World Tour mode aren't all regular citizens just trying to make it through the day. 
you'll encounter a bunch of weird and wonderful characters as you explore the city, with a particular emphasis on people wearing various kinds of boxes on their head for some reason. This blows. Seriously, see a box on someone's head? You're probably in for a bad time. <laughs> Our favourite character we came across, however, was this guy, a superhero called The Watcher who stands as a silent protector overlooking the city until some rando comes up and uppercuts him in the back. In game. And yes, you can fight him as normal, beat him even, and then he gives you some drugs. Man, I love World Tour mode. Finally, you might be wondering what people get up to in Metro City when they're not beating each other senseless, to which the answer might turn out to be, watch something called FooTube. Hi there. I see. You meet a so-called FooTube influencer later on in the section of the game we played, and he is super hyped to upload some footage of a recent rooftop fight we had to the presumed video sharing platform. All right. As a result, he became a contact in our phone alongside our mentor Luke, hinting at further opportunities to boost our social clout through crowd-pleasing fights that get posted online. It's still not clear how this will work in the finished game, but the addition of these kinds of side quests is super fun, and the sort of thing that will help break up the more story-focused fighting that makes up the meat of the mode. Just hope no one uploads any footage of me spinning bird-kicking people in the back. It's going to be terrible for my image. So that was a quick look at some of the wild stuff you can get up to in Street Fighter VI's World Tour mode. Will you play it, or will you be sticking to the more traditional fighting grounds modes? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like, subscribe, and check out patreon.com forward slash OXclub for more Street Fighter VI coming soon from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching. Surprise uppercut! They never see it coming.